DNL Soda was a soft drink brand that was introduced in 2002 and discontinued in 2005. Thank you, Dilver Lazama, for your suggestion. Get your DNL! Get your DNL here! Oh, you got a permit for all this? I have a permit. I'm not real, you moron. I'm a me. DNL with a powerful boost of green from the makers of 7 Up. In 2002, Cadbury Schweppes America's Beverages added a drink to the 7 Up line of drinks. That year, many different soda lines chose to step out and try to add new flavors to their lineup. There were additions like Pepsi Blue, Vanilla Coke, and even a Dr. Pepper Red Fusion. And 7-Up added DNL soda to their line. DNL might seem like an unusual name, and it is, but if you turn up 7-Up upside down, this is what you get, and that is where the name came from. DNL was designed to be the opposite of 7-Up as far as flavor and style go. It's pretty interesting when you consider the comparisons. For example, 7-Up was a clear liquid, and it came in a green bottle. It was also caffeine free. However, DNL was caffeinated. It was green, almost the color of 7-Up's bottle, and it was sold in a clear bottle. The flavor was still based on the lemon lime, but it also had an added citrus flavor to it that made it stand apart from 7-Up. The flavor was designed to be stronger and stand out more. DNL had an interesting slogan, turn your drink upside down, which went very well with the theme of the drink and how it was meant to be the opposite of 7-Up. It was comparable to Mountain Dew in flavor and color, and when it's actually produced for similar reasons to Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew was competing with Mellow Yellow, Fanta, and Sprite, so DNL was created to do pretty much the exact same thing as well. DNL was first released in stores of the United States on June 2, 2002, in an attempt to extend the 7 Up lineup. During its short time on the market, DNL did make an impact. You will find it as it debuted at least three times and was promoted in the spotlight by at least three major events in that time frame. It was the sponsored drink at SSX 3 which was a snowboarding game. The 46th annual Grammys also used DNL as a sponsored drink. And finally, an event made any of us Lord of the Rings fans remember DNL was a sponsored drink at the release of the Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. DNL was discontinued in 2006 when 7UP came up with 7UP Plus. However, it was popular while it was out, and people continued to reminisce about it. Some people would say it was arguably poorly marketed, and while it remained listed as an official product of the company until late 2005, it was scheduled to be discontinued for 2006 in favor of a 7UP Plus brand. DNL was not produced everywhere. It was never available in Canada, and it seems it was specific to the United States, primarily when it was released. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.